Hey guys, it's Alia here, and today I'm going to show you how to build an automatic sheep farm. Or, not sheep farm, sorry, wool farm. Using sheep. Because no one kills sheep, because that's kind of just evil. If you guys are using, like, cooked mutton as your food source, you're just evil. Don't do that. But to start off, we're going to place grass in a formation that looks like this. So it should take eight pieces total. Nice. Then you're going to place an observer, and if you see all the items in my inventory, that's basically what you need. You'll need multiple rails besides this, so you basically need, kind of, it depends on what you're using. You probably should use some powered ones too, but I'll show you that at the end. So then place an observer in that block so the redstone goes out right here. Grab a block, put it here, redstone top. So this is what it should look like, and the redstone apple points to there. So if we were to break this block, that redstone dust would light up. No, just put a dispenser on top right here. So when that block uh, status changes, the redstone will fire and the dispenser will dispense. So if you didn't know, sh dispensers now can output or can shear sheep if they have shears in them. So, so grab your shears and you want to put them in the dispenser. Now place a trap door here and place your sheep in. So the first time you put your sheep in, you have to share it yourself. Now if you don't know how to get sheep in survival, you just gotta use wheat and you gotta kinda lure it through a hallway. So like build this up here and then you take the sheep and you just wanna lure it forward until it falls in the hole using either wheat or a weed or something. And then you just close the hole up. So the first time you share it, but now after this, when it eats the grass, the block will update and then you'll see we end up with our wool falling so you have two options for storage here if you're only building one module the the way i recommend you do it is just to place a is i mean you could do it on the bottom or side or whatever but you just place a chest hopper going into it and then you put a hopper mine card on top and you can break the rail So that's if you're doing one module, because that just pulls it through. Now let's say we have another module right here. I'm not gonna build everything for it, but I am just gonna build like this. Let's say you had another module right there. And then of course you'd have the redstone and the whack. Well then, rather than using multiple hopper mine curts, then what you should do is take it like is take a rail underneath. So you want to run a rail line underneath all of them. And so let's grab a powered rail here just for the sake of it. And then I will grab uh, this. Yep. So now it's running underneath all of these. And then you can have it hopper chest. So now. And then you want to put this here, of course, and put the stone here. And you could have this push one back. It doesn't really matter. You just need the hopper mine cart to run over, under everything. So now, it gets going, and whenever sheep falls, let's say we drop, like, three stone in here. You see it gets picked up, and it ends up in the chest. So there you go. Now, you might look at this and you might be like, this is kind of ugly. Where am I going to put it? I mean, it's not that ugly, but then, like, there's the redstone wiring and stuff. So, if you need ideas on how to decorate and make your sheep farm look good, your wool farm look good, tune into tomorrow's video, and I'm going to be going over different ways you can decorate a single system of this, as well as if you have a whole bunch of them, like, one for every wool color. So. But if you enjoyed, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, I'll see you guys next time. And make sure to tell me in the comments down below what farm you want me to see you want to see me build next. So, goodbye!